Hi, I'm Melissa from Cookie CAD, and today I'm going to explain to you how to use our new Cutter Plus Stamp feature in Cookie CAD. So you'll start by opening your image. Today I'm going to use a crystal with an imprint. Well, we'll see what we can do. Let it open up here in Cookie CAD and I'll start by showing you the cutter. So, this is just what you're used to it, just taking the outline of your design and imprint your cutter. The next is an imprint cutter, and that's a cutter on the outside, and the inside will be slightly lower to imprint your design into your dough or your fondant, or your clay. This prints all as one cookie cutter, or cutter. The next option is the exciting cutter plus stamp. Now, here you have the cutter on the outside and the stamp floating on the inside. It is not connected. As you can see here, there is a space all the way around. And these will print as two separate pieces. You can print them nested inside of each other just like this or you can separate them and print them side by side. That's a whole different video though. So let me explain to you some of the features that we have included in this cutter and stamp. So you could see here the imp imprint depth is three. So that is how deep you're going right over here from the base up. You can increase this. I'll explain to you a little bit more visually how that rose. So it's much deeper now or taller and it will press deeper into your dough. Now, I'll explain back thickness in a minute. It's hard to see when it has the cutter on the outside. So let me switch over to tolerance slash gap. And this is the gap between the cutter and the stamp. So I'm gonna increase it a lot to explain it to you. This is how far away your stamp will be from your cutter. Now the cutter is exactly the same size as you set it in your settings and the center is getting smaller. So if you needed your stamp to be a specific size, you would not want to use this setting. You would want to use just the stamp feature. Now just the stamp feature will give you the stamp in exactly your 75 millimeter size, but your 75 millimeter cookie cutter would not fit because it's the exact same size as the outline, if that makes sense. If something is confusing you, please reach out to us at any time and we'll explain it further. Now, while I'm here in stamp, I'll explain to you back thickness, which is how thick your base is. So right now you could see it's pretty thick because I increased the imprint step. Let's go back to three. And then back thickness will go really thick so you can really see. It's not thick enough. Okay, you can see it better now. It got really thick. That's how thick your base will be and the imprint is still the same depth. Okay, any other features we're gonna go over today? Yes, under experimental settings, if you turn those on, you can invert interior, which will make your black parts, which I had those lines, go the other way. So now when you press this into the dough, these thin lines will raise up instead of press in, if that makes sense. And then another interesting feature is thicken interior features. So if your lines are very thin, you could thicken them up. Oh, 
too much. Okay, <laughs> go, go in um, decimals. So you can see I thickened it and it's much thicker than it was. Oh, Nathan's saying 0.1 is better. <laughs> to go up like in 0.1. Yeah, so it's thicker now and it sometimes it's hard for your printer to print such thin lines. So this is a great way to not have to redraw your whole image. You can just use um, Cookie CAD thicken interior features. And then, all right, so that's all I'm going to share with you right now. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at cookiecad.com. Thanks.